Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Tunane. I'm the brand owner and founder of brand called Zyber Organics where I sell cosmetics candles, also teach you DIY cosmetics on this formulation. Hello, welcome. Today we are going to do something a little bit over long overdue. It's my very most popular video, which is called 10% yes and my 1% I learn it acid. So you can find the link here. And compared to my subscriber to viewership, this gone this video is actually gonna be viral. So <laughs> I'm really surprised with it. It's been all long overdue. It's been over I've done it two years ago and it's one of my early videos and it's actually I kind of feel like video is a little bit sort of when I'm starting to learn more about cosmetic formulation and it's, it's a bit of video that I decided to make it a little bit sort of fun. So I didn't realize we we're going to be so, get so much viewership. So thank you everybody who ever watched and subscribed to my channel. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of that formulation, make it more interesting. I also run a, a poll on my on my channel and a lot of you decided to go with 12% yes in my formulation, which this is what we're going to do today. There's another option over there, which I'm going to do that next, next week. So over the coming weeks, I'm going to do a little bit more interesting formulations and I'm also a little bit inspired by a certain brand that I don't want to tell you what it is, but you might guess, which is which brand has made the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid very famous. So I also seen very interesting formulations they're doing. There's a pink serum they did and there's a blue serum they did, which I also ordered those materials. So I'm really excited when they come in. I will actually going to attempt to do replicate, not replicate, but do make a little bit dupe and also my, my own twist on these uh, formulations. It's also that blue um, ingredient. Uh, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I put an interesting, uh, I put a video about it, that, about blue ingredient, which I might actually use my own products, which I'm still working on it. I know it's taking me so long, but believe me, rebranding has been taking, it's really difficult because you have to make everything so consistent. You have to work with the suppliers and so on. Anyway, I don't want to make this brag video. So, um, I also want to tell you one other thing. Um, if you have watched my hair video from last week, which you can find the link here, um, I've been using the two products that I made. Um, I had I did a pre-wash scalp formulation, this nice golden oil, and also did this nice cream. This is for the hair cream. So I've been using both of them uh, over the last week or so, almost every day, and I can't believe how hemisqualine is so good. You know, so I can't, I just had a, had a shower and my hair is so soft. I mean, you can see it from here as well. I don't know if you made the formulation, but really these two products that I did from the last video, they I'm really, really happy with them. It might actually make me think that I'm actually the hair oil in my uh, new rebranding, you know, so I didn't realize hair oils are actually that very popular. So I might actually do, I might actually do a hair oil along with a pre wash scalp oil in my next launch. So anyway, watch this space. And if you're also interested to see me doing sort of like behind the scenes business videos, like how I run my business, let me know in the comments if you're interested. Uh, I can do a business vlog as well. Okay, so let's start this 12% niacinamide serum right now. So let's start this 12% niacinamide serum. As usual, you can find the formulation on the screen and all this is going to be another 100 grams. We're going to do this in two stages, that's why I have two beakers. So first we're going to start with dissolving alantoin. Uh, I'm adding alantoin is because we're adding a lot of niacinamide. It's going to, just in case, to reduce skin irritation. Alantoin helps with the skin soothing. So I'm adding 0 0.2 grams of alantoin. Next I'm adding water. So we're adding 60.4.8 grams of water. So it's a lot of water here adding because of the bulk of the formulation. Okay, so I have the water ready. So if you have watched my uh, blue gel moisturizer video, which you can find the link here, I show how to dissolve alantoin over there if you want to go and see details. But basically, alantoin can be dissolved in a warm water. So I'm going to hit this and come back when it's fully dissolved. Because it just in the cold water, it doesn't. It takes a lot of time to dissolve. So with a little gentle heating, you can you can actually uh, dissolve the alantoin. So let me hit this and come back. Okay, so alantoin is completely dissolved. As you can see, there's nothing left in there. And next, we're going to add vitamin C. So I'm using um, a vitamin C called ascorbyl glucoside AA2G. This is the most stable form of uh, vitamin C. I'm going to put some links on the comment and also there's some um, 
information about them on the screen. So basically this is a most slow releasing vitamin C compared to other forms of vitamin C like ascorbic acid. If you don't have this, you can use ascorbic acid as well, it's fine. But just be aware that you have to keep the um, serum out of light because vitamin C ascorbic acid especially degrades so quickly. So this is the most stable form of a uh, vitamin C, hence I'm using it. I'm adding 2 grams. So um, if you want me to do a detailed information about uh, vitamin C and their um, derivatives, let me know in the comments as well. So I just add in 2 grams. Okay, so I let the um, vitamin C is also dissolved. There's a slight cloudiness, but it's alright. Next, we're going to add our 12% niacinamide. So this is the next one. Uh, let's add 12% niacinamide. Okay, it's going to get very cloudy now, as you can see. But what we're going to do is just going to mix it. Once you stir it really, really good for like good 3-4 minutes, this is going to all become clear. Niacinamide is completely dissolved. As you can see, it's very transparent right now. What we're going to do, I'm not adding too many extracts because I get a lot of questions about can I add this extract, anything that, or this extract, anything that is water syllable or anything that is glycerin extract, you can use in these formulations. All you need to do is just adjust the percentage. So let's say if you're adding 1% of another extract of your choice or 2%, you just reduce the water from there so that this, this formula is a bit flexible. So I'm only going to use and a water, watermelon extract for this just to I quite like it because it gives a little um, this nice subtleness and also it's very good for the uh, skin smoothening so I'm only going to add 2% of watermelon extract okay watermelon is extract is, active, is added so it's already dissolved next I'm going to actually move on to um, the other stage so we're moving on adding our humectants and hyaluronic acid so in this formulation i'm actually using uh, two different uh, molecular ways of hyaluronic acid if you want to know more about hyalur uh, hyaluronic acid you can watch my video i did a very detailed uh, video in this formulation we're going to add 0.5 percent high molecular weight uh, hyaluronic acid this is the per the purpose of adding high molecular here is to use as a gelling agent because I'm not adding xanthan gum or something else. However, if you do have um, a solution of hyaluronic acid where it won't gel, you need to add some kind of gelling agent like a xanthan gum or something. So uh, just note of that. So I'm adding 0.5 of hyaluronic acid. Less of the hyaluronic acid we're going to use is low molecular weight. So I'm adding 1.5 grams of low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Okay, so we added both combination of hyaluronic acid. Um, we've got two grams of hyaluronic acid. Next, we're adding our humectants. I'm using a both glycerin and propanidiol. First, we're going to add the propanidiol, which is five gram. These two will help disperse um, the hyaluronic acid. It's gone a little bit overdose, but it's fine. What we're just going to do, uh, we're going to disperse this make a nice slurry as you can see it's become a really nice slurry here already so before we combine everything we just have two more ingredients to add so that's those are uh, tea tree floral water helps with the um any kind of like spots or acne issues as well and this is also the brightening so five grams of tea tree Another five grams of aloe vera juice. This is organic aloe vera juice. So let's add. And we can also add our preservative as well. So we're gonna add, I'm gonna add one gram of preservative eco. So this is a natural preservative. Okay. Let's mix this all up. So let's combine it all together. So this is where the uh, hyaluronic acid is in. So I'm just going to pour the water inside. The reason I did it this way is just 
once the hyaluronic acid becomes gel, it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult for us adding the other ingredients. So let's just mix it all together. As you can see, it's going to become thickener already. There's a lot of, um, I don't know if so you can see it from here, but it has gone quite cloudy, but it's getting clearer as well. And it's quite thick, it's, it hasn't fully thickened up, but it's thickening up definitely. As Okay, it's become quite nice texture actually, so you can see it's also quite clear. Let's measure the pH. pH is quite high again, it's 6.7, but in this formulation, um, both um, niacinamide and vitamin C needs a little bit higher pH, especially for niacinamide. 6 is a little bit better because you don't want niacinamide to turn into nicotic acid, nicotinamide acid, which kind of causes little bit of irritation. So because we are using such a high percentage, I would suggest that to this formulation to have 6 to maybe 6.5 maximum and um, so this is just a little bit high 6.7 so I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of lactic acid just to bring it down a little bit but not much okay so now it's around 6.1 which is quite ideal um, for this formulation so we're all done as you can see it's quite clear and it has a bit of yellow tinge because of the ascorbic glucoside but it's fine. So let's fill this up and see how it looks. And I'm gonna do a little demo for you as well. Okay, so let's fill this up. Uh, this is a 30 ml of the bottle. Okay. As you can see, it's become quite clear gel already. So let me just show you here as well. It has a bit of yellow tinge, is because of the vitamin C. But apart from that, it's a very nice liquid. So let me just get a lid. Let me just show you um, how it looks, and let me just show you a little demonstration of this. Okay, so here I get the serum. It's very, very uh, clear texture, as you can see. So let's just try and do it. Let's just try and find out how the texture. As you can see, it's, it's thick, but it's not too thick. So let's just show, show you this it's a perfect for serum texture actually so very nice easy gliding texture and let me just put some on my hand 0.5% 0.5% hyaluronic acid, high monoclonal work that always gives a really nice consistent texture. So that's why I always use my formulations as you know as a is a really ideal texture to use. It's not too thick, but it's not too uh, light either. So it's really have that and the water doesn't run down that easily. So that's why I like using 0.5%. So it's very refreshing actually. So as I mentioned in the video, you can customize this formulation very easily. All you need to do, any kind of water soluble actives, caffeine, maybe green tea extract or any other extracts, anything that it dissolves with glycerin, you can use in this formulation. As I mentioned, just adjust the water percentage. So if you're adding 2% of anything or 1%, reduce from the water formulation, uh, for water percentage, okay? So um, it's not texture, it's not uh, greasy either. So and my, it's already absorbed. Okay, cool. Uh, this is um, your tw and this is the twelve percent, twelve percent niacinamide serum with two percent hyaluronic acid and two percent vitamin C. So it's actually quite a lot of banger in here. So it's brightening, it's smoothing, and it's hydrating. So you have all the actives in there. So if you like this formulation, give me a thumbs up. And if you have questions, please ask in the comment section. So uh, I hope you like this formulation. And, and also if you like to give me a thanks uh, to me, you can always buy something from my shop, which you can find the links on the channel. Um, otherwise, I'm happy that if you watch up to here and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.